All right, thank you, Mark. Time now for medical rounds. Some hopeful news tonight for patients with advanced Parkinson's disease. Dr. Duart Machado, the co-director of the Hartford Healthcare Neuroscience Institute Movement Disorders, is our guest tonight. He's joining us live to talk about two new treatment options to help combat the symptoms of the disease. And we thank you so much for joining us tonight, Dr. Machado. Good evening, Denise. Well, tell us first of all, what is advanced Parkinson's disease? Advanced Parkinson's disease is whereby patients have persistent bothersome symptoms despite optimization of their oral therapies that they take. When you say persistent symptoms, that means they're not getting relief from some of the, the symptoms of Parkinson's? Can you elaborate on that just a bit? Uh, correct, yes. Yeah. So they may have persistent tremor, stiffness, slowness, trouble moving. Okay. So I understand there is a new drug that could possibly offer some relief. It's called Duopa, D-U-O-P-A. Let's talk about that. Yes, we're very excited to bring Duopa to patients in Connecticut. Hartford Healthcare is the only place where patients can have the entire procedure from start to finish. In this procedure, patients receive levodopa, which is the mainstay treatment of Parkinson's disease, continuously through a tube that's placed into the stomach and then into the small intestine. By delivering levodopa continuously rather than intermittently, as one would do if they take it by mouth, patients have restoration of motor function and they have a, a smooth control throughout the day. Wow, that's great to hear. And does this have to be done like yeah. uh, once a week or how does this work in terms of dosing? Yeah, well, the patients connect a cassette that's attached to a pump that's battery powered and they receive the medication continuously for 16 hours throughout the day. That's fantastic. Wonderful. And there's another option that uses brain sim stimulation. How does that work? In this procedure, uh, patients would have placement of a, a probe surgically into one of two structures of the brain. In Parkinson's disease, these structures are hyperactive. So by using high frequency stimulation to suppress the hyperactivity of the cells in this region, again, patients can have restoration of motor function that and sounds, other symptoms. That's wonderful. It sounds very promising. So for anyone out there who is suffering from advanced Parkinson's or knows someone who is, these are some uh, hopeful developments in the fight against that. We thank you so much, Dr. Machado, for very helpful information. If you'd like to learn more about Hartford HealthCare's Movement Disorder Center, you can call the number on the screen and